I'm Stephen Benoon. You are watching Israeli News Live. A lot of different things are going on right now all over the world. But first, let's go to the United States with the riots that have been happening there in Baltimore, Maryland. They're just right outside of Washington, D.C. Uh, the mayor of Baltimore, Maryland, actually basically give a green light to, their, to the people there that were protesting to give them time to do the damage they're going to do. Uh, but the thing that really concerns me is, from what we can gather, that there was very much peaceful protest in the wake of uh, the, 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 the funeral for Freddie Gray. And it was only later, and this is where some reports have come in from, from media that, uh, that stated that a national group came in, and this is when the violence broke out. Of course, they've since recanted uh, that statement, but just begins to make you wonder. I know we've had inside sources uh, for the last couple of years from Washington that have actually stated that the government has been wanting to have some type of inflammatory situation in order to be able to justify declaring martial law. Now, is there a timetable for that or not? Well, it's quite hard to say, but nonetheless, if they keep inciting violence the way things are going, they're going to get exactly what they want, a reason to bring about martial law. Now, of course, could that be in order to, to, to fulfill the United Nations mandate for Obama in order to be able to uh, disarm the nation? It's a letter that he received that stated clearly that he was to disarm the United States. Pretty well could be in order to bring about a new world order. So anyway, moving on to other news as well. The U.S., according to Israel National News, denies that Iran has captured an American ship with American sailors. Of course, Israel's reporting that they did. Uh, but the Pentagon, however, is denying the, the report not to be true. It says here, after opening fire across the ship's bow, Iranian forces reportedly boarded the vessel and escorted it to a port of Bandar Abbas. Uh, Al Arabian News Agency had claimed that up to 34 American sailors were detained aboard the ship. An Iran semi-official affairs FARS news agency reported that the ship was detained for trespassing on Iran territorial waters. However, a senior U.S. official told Reuters news agency that no American vessel had been directed to Bandar Abbas. Instead, a separate Pentagon official claimed that Marshall Island's flagship was boarded by the Iranian Navy and stated that no American citizens were on board. He described the shots fired at the ship as inappropriate. Well, we'll just have to watch over the next uh, few days just to see whether or not it was actually an American ship or not. It seems that normally the United States takes a few days before they admit what really ha uh, goes down until they can come up with some plausible explanation to explain what's going on. Nonetheless, though, it is a volatile situation, and I can understand an American presence needing to be there, whether it's actually a cargo ship or military or whatever the case may be, because clearly with Iran and the hostilities that are going on in Yemen, and we've even had reports that Russia, the Russian Navy, is backing the Iranians in Yemen. This is a very serious situation for Israel because the Gulf of Aqaba that is very strategic and important for the Israelis could be uh, hindered if the Iranians truly get full control of Yemen, which appears to be inevitable, which only makes you wonder whether or not Israel will strike Iran Iranian nuclear targets, which they so vehemently deny. And in fact, recently the Iranians are now calling that uh, at the United Nations, it was said that, uh, that the president of Iran has, is calling for Israel to disarm as well, that it should not have, quote unquote, the bomb the nuclear arsenal that Israel has never, uh, ex uh, ex has never confessed to having nor denied. But Iran says that in order to have a stable Middle East, it must be all nuclear free. Well, we know that's just a cop out because Israel will not use nuclear weapons unless it is threatened. And clearly, these countries such as Iran that has swore to wipe Israel off the map and even the Palestinians and of course Hamas and Hezbollah and all the rest of the Arabic nations practically around Israel have all vowed to wipe Israel off the map. So therefore, Israel is very much justified in having a way to protect itself. But nonetheless, I'm very concerned that the issue has been brought up at the United Nations. It just goes to show that the world that is turning against Israel already clearly is on a path to disarming Israel. That in itself 
will bring about a war, a war sure enough where Israel will be faced against an entire world against them. Also, uh, sirens blared across the Golan Heights. In fact, one sister that lives up in the north there sent me an email saying that one of the rockets had landed there not far from where she lives. And, uh, but anyway, there were two rockets or shells reportedly, according to the Israeli military sources, are the overflow from the fighting in Syria on the Syrian border with Israel there up in the Golan there. Hopefully I'll be able to get up there before too long and try to catch some more footage of that, uh, that particular, the, the events that go on there. I've been there many, many times. And yes, you can always see the fighting going on. It's amazing how long people can actually fight a war in one area. Um, and another issue here that is very concerning, uh, needless to say, and this was reported by Reuters uh, news, news agency there, it said amid Russian tensions, Finnish military fires charges at a suspected submarine. Well, that suspected submarine no doubt is a Russian submarine. It says here that the Finnish military fired on Tuesday a handheld underwater depth charges as a warning against a suspected submarine in the waters near Helsinki, uh, that's Helsinki, Finland, in an incident that comes amid growing military tensions with neighboring Russia. The Navy said it noticed an underwater target on Monday and again on Tuesday morning and fired uh, some warning charges the sizes of grenades. Finland, which shares an 833-mile border with Russia, has been increasingly worried about uh, its powerful neighbor, neighbor after a year of Russian Air Force sorties and military border exercises. Defense Minister uh, Carl Hugland did not say whether Russia was involved. He told Finnish media that the target could have been a submarine and that is likely left the area, adding that Finland has rarely used such warning charges. And that's why I say when you go to using uh, uh, firing a, a weapon in, in to, to, to do a warning there, it's getting pretty serious there and no doubt uh, sends also a signal to Russia. And of course, Russia, they're nervous. They're on edge with the NATO expansion into the uh, eastern part of Europe uh, that borders their country with all the, the armament that is being built up there. And uh, so it just makes you wonder what's about to happen. As I said before in the news just the other night, it is nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom. The Saudis and the Iranians are about to go to blows. The United States, NATO and their allies with Russia about to go to blow. We also see even the possibility of in the, um, the eastern regions, North and South Korea, in those areas there, all the tensions globally, worldwide, on the edge of another world war. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.